Okay, so today we have Echo and the Money Men, 7C is going to try to watch the music video. Hopefully it doesn't get blocked. Anyway, it's been a minute since I've listened to this band, uh, reacted to this band, and they're one of my favorite bands that I've found through the channel. Uh, so I'm always excited to get back to them. And as well as, yeah, I don't think I've watched an Echo and the Money Men music video, but um, that'll change today. So anyway, let's get into it now. Talk about it after. Let's go. Present seven C's. Stab a yeah. sorry heart with your favorite finger. Stop your tears from stinging Hear the cavemen singing Good news they're bringing Seven seas Swimming them so well Glad to see My face among them Kissing the tortoise shell Forever kneeling with the sense in stealing without the grace to be it. Smashing my mirrors, turning to see if you're cowardly. Burning the witches with mother religious. You strike the matches and shower me in water again. Washing the rocks below, taught and tamed in time. Alright, so, Echo and the Bunnymen, Seven Seas. I mean, I have to say at the top, uh, watching the video, uh, that was, you know, a striking video. Um, I mean, just because of Ian McCulloch, I mean, of course, um, even without him looking, you know, dressing up, I guess, like a woman or whatever, uh, the man is, you know, he's a good-looking fella. And, uh, I mean, his voice is as beautiful as, you know, he is, you could say. I mean... Um, you know, and, and again, with Ian's voice, you know, how he comes in into the song, uh, just with that first line he delivers, you know, the uh, stab a sorry heart. And it's just like, I don't know, it's a commanding voice, of course. Um, and I mean, I have to say the the light bass work in this is beautiful as well. Uh, lead guitar, of course. So, you know, I don't, I don't think it's as, as a, oh my God, I don't think it's as light as the bass, but I mean, um, just it's such a fun kind of feeling song and a lovely song as well. You know, I feel like this band, you know, is 
kind of seen as dark or whatever. Um, at least that's what I've been told and that's what I've read up, you know, about the band. Um, but with this song here, it's just, it's just like, you know, the imagery is really different, especially with the video, you know, Ian, you know, again, uh, you know, showing off here a little bit um, in the video there. But um, yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's something about this song where it's just, it's like it's fresh. Uh, and I love, you know, the elements of water, you know, just all over the place, you know, and uh, Ian wearing uh, the flippers, whatever they're called, I don't even know, <laughs> the, you know, uh, for scuba diving or whatever, and um, how they're swimming out, uh, you know, after when the video's done or whatever, and they're swimming away from the screen, uh, just all that kind of thing. I really enjoyed that part. And uh, yeah, so I just, you know, this song is just a lovely tune. I mean, I have to say, uh, and the, the whole thing, you know, sometimes, you know, the ocean, you know, talking about here, the seven seas, whatever, um, can be, you know, seen as a scary place. You know, you think of like sharks or whales or whatever, um, piranhas, all this stuff that's in the oceans and, um, things that could kill you and creatures down below that we don't even know about yet. Um, but, uh, you know, I just like the image here of, you know, the seven, you know, the course, you know, seven seas swimming them so well, glad to see my face among them, kissing the toy, toy, tortoise shell. Um, and again, you know, it's just a lovely line, especially, you know, kissing the tortoise shell. Uh, I just really, enjoy, and when he talks, I, I was gonna say, I just really enjoyed this. I should finish my sentences before I move on to another one. Um, and when he says, you know, paint the world blue, I think, you know, take away the, uh, your tears from, uh, where is it? My goodness, paint the whole world blue and stop your tears from stinging. I hear the cavemen singing good news. They're bringing, bringing, I mean, this band again, every time I listen to them, um, you know, people always talk about how underrated they are. And I mean, yeah, obviously, I mean, this band, Echo and the Bunnymen, I mean, it's a band name you can't forget. Uh, but of course, I think, you know, the biggest hit, of course, most likely, uh, The Killing Moon. But I feel like, you know, some people don't really delve in deeper, uh, after that. And it's just, you know, it's a shame. Uh, cause yeah, this band has so many good songs and it's just, uh, and again, Ian's voice, you know, it's up, you know, again, like I said, commanding, you know, you just, it's easy, easy to listen to as well. And um, anyway, I should look at the personnel, actually, just because there are a lot of instruments in this song. I mean, of course, you see in the video, there's the cello and, of course, the guitar. And uh, I think the bongos there as well. I mean, yeah. So anyway, of course, Ian McCulloch on vocals and guitar. Will Sargent on lead guitar. Les Patton's on bass. So, yeah, shout out to Les there. Uh, Pete DeFridas on drums. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Anyway, um, Adam Peters on piano and cello. I have to say Adam Peters here, uh, that striking piano. Uh, just, you know, shivers down your spine. I mean, uh, especially with the headphones on, I mean, I guess, you, and especially when you're listening to it loudly, um, that piano, you can't miss it. I mean, it's just like, it's like a gong going off. Um, anyway, and also uh, Tim Whitaker on bongos, like I said. Uh, and then there's Kian Lu, I want to say, on clarinet and saxophone, and as well as Alam, Alam Perman and James Drake Brockman, both on harpsichords. So, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of different instruments in here. I didn't even really notice all of them. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's just, I, I, again, I just love how this all came together, again, to create such a lovely kind of uh, genius tune. I mean, that's really what comes to mind here. And, I mean, just looking at the lyrics again, uh, just because, again, I was watching the video, so I didn't really pick up on every lyric because, I mean, again, Ian's kind of, you know, he kind of stole the show there. Um, so anyway, just well, off the top, you know, stab a sorry heart. And it's just, you know, that's quite the line to start off with. Uh, with your fing your favorite finger. I don't know if I have a favorite finger. Anyway, paint the whole world blue and stop your tears from stinging. Like I already said, hear the good, uh, hear the caveman saying good news they're bringing. Uh, and then, you know, like I said, with the seven seas there, the chorus. And then we have a longing for some fresher feeling. Belonging or just forever kneeling. Where is the, in the... Where is the sense in stealing without the grace to be it? Uh, and the Seven Seas, of course, once again. Uh, burning my bridges and smashing my mirrors. My goodness, seven years of bad luck right there. Turning to see if you're cowardly. Burning the witches with mother religious. You'll strike the matches and shower me. And water games washing the rocks below. Taught and tamed in time with tear flow. Again, love the water elements here. Uh, the call back to it. Uh, and then the seven seas, you know, the chorus uh, finishes the song off. Uh, and I like when he, you know, I like, I just like that he says, you know, glad to see my face among them, kissing the tortoise shell. Again, it just gives a a nice image. Again, I, I just love how nice this all seems. I don't know. Um, and again, when he talks about, um, I wanted to talk about the line he said there, uh, longing for some fresher feeling. And that reminds me of a quote that I see here. Uh, you know, searching up about the song, um, you know, because again, like, I don't know if I already said, um, but yeah, how this band is kind of seen, is kind of seen as dark, and this is kind of a different kind of, you know, 
path for them kind of a way. Um, and apparently uh, from Ian McCulloch, he says uh, Seven Seas, uh, uh, where the heck's the quote at now? My God, you know, kind of seen as a jolly, dreamy song. Um, and, he, you know, instead of, you know, playing kind of the same kind of tune, this song, what the heck? Couldn't find the guy dang quote. Anyway, <laughs> and how, you know, he says on here, uh, Seven Seas, it, it was, you know, a longing for some fresher feeling. Uh, and he also says, you know, there was some nervous energy of earlier work and that had been replaced by new receptiveness and experience. So, yeah, you know, how the band had been together for a bit and, uh, you know, the song came out of that. And obviously when you have more experience, you know, the band was, you know, tighter, uh, probably, you know, you play together for longer. You're probably, you know, better with each other, whatever. Um, so I just, yeah, I just love everything going on here. And, uh, you know, again, talking about how figuring the ocean as a place of healing and embrace rather than loneliness and peril. I mean, beautifully said from Ian here. And uh, yeah, and that's, I guess, what I was kind of saying earlier, uh, you know, how, you know, the ocean can be seen as, you know, scary uh, and kind of dark and all this stuff. You know, you, obviously you hear of shark attacks, whatever. Um, but yeah, here it's just, it, you know, it's not like that. And uh, it's just, it's a nice tune, uh, obviously beautifully sung. And uh, obviously so many instruments on this here as well, where it's just like, yeah, obviously they really cared about making this track uh, sound as glorious as it could. And um, the video as well made that happen. Uh, again, a great video. And uh, Ian was, like I said, really showing off here. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess that's all I gotta really say. Uh, Echo and the Bunnymen, always happy to come back to them. I don't know what Echo and the Bunnymen's all about, but either way, uh, <laughs> they're a great band. And like I said, very underrated. Uh, underappreciated as well, obviously. And uh, this song was a tune and a half, I have to say. Again, it just, I don't know, it just, you know, again, that, that feeling of just feeling good. That's what I get from this track. And um, that's the best I can explain it. Um, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, subscribing, commenting, all that stuff. A fresh sound uh, from 1984. 84? My goodness. I thought it was later. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, so thanks for watching again. All the support. Really appreciate all that. And I will talk to you guys again soon.